murals are very much of a collaborative effort by the fact that they are, the sheer scale of them, two hands only covers so much ground in X amount of time, and also by the nature, the public nature of them. When I, when I do a work, everything you see in the mural will come from the site. So uh, it's a collaborative, you need, you need people to work together to get one of these things done. My name is Meg Saligman. I am a professional public artist. Uh, I am based in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and uh, I specialize in large exterior projects. When I painted my first mural, I just knew I loved it, that that is what I wanted to do. So I guess the first step is in fertile ground for the design process was to come to Omaha and speak with people. Uh, we interviewed people from all walks of life to talk to them about what, you know, what is important to them about Omaha. While you're collecting this information, you begin to see themes that emerge. And um, at the same time, uh, Perhaps a little bit later in the process, you're going to start collecting visual images. Everything in the mural has a reference and comes from Omaha. It is not imagined. We certainly would like to employ imagination in the painting of these things and the way they're put together and things that are said, but um, the content comes from the community. came here to Nebraska, <laughs> we, we didn't really understand weather as Nebraskans do. The, there's a wall cloud behind you and we look up and there's this green black thing like that's, that looks like a wave that's like coming at us in the sky and we were just horrified. We, had, we were like, oh my goodness, you know? So one thing that is very important about being a mural artist, you really need to like the weather and enjoy being outside and enjoy hard physical labor. You're always in different elements and conditions. When you're creating a public project that needs to have uh, longevity in the exterior, you, you absolutely have to check your materials, make sure you're using the right and the best ones. For fertile ground, we've chosen um, an architectural grade paint that would go on a boat bottom. Again, if you're thinking if it's on a metal in the ocean, 
it's getting scraped up and it's still surviving, it would be perfect for the elements of even Nebraska. <laughs> when you're painting a wall this size, you need help. The local community contributes to the process so much, and it's one of the most meaningful parts of doing a project like this for me. Hopefully, if we're good at promoting a creative exchange, we will find what people have to offer. And it's, it's quite often a surprise and always a gift.